I mean, let's be honest. This, obviously you can tell there is cars passing me over there. This is not safe. During the, especially when it's raining like this, this, this is not a good idea. Starting off the day on a great note. Now, some of you guys are gonna flame me in the comments for this one. But, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A's got good, good chicken. Good, pretty good chicken. But, I had to stop and get the tea from Chick-fil-A. And I had some Publix chicken. That might be the only combination better in this world than, than anything, is Publix chicken. Publix and chicken Publix. fingers win every time. And fried chicken, yeah. 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 You eat that? <laughs> so yesterday was the first successful test run of the homemade popcorn. We're gonna try it again today for you guys. We got a half a brake cleaner can, some oil, and some popcorn, and a heating source. Here we go. I'm pretty sure, yeah. No. That's uh, wasting time. It's starting to sizzle. Oh, we're almost there. We have pups. It's popping! <laughs> it's popping! popcorn today guys popcorn drought is no more <laughs> here try one uh -uh. <laughs> Hell no. how was it get some regular corn oh. <laughs> hey it actually doesn't look that bad though Ooh, what is this I'll say it. Dang. Say it. Look, look at their chicken wings. Mm. And then look at, look, where's where's the lemon pepper? Which one's yours? I think this one. The saddest one? Sad, sad. <laughs> Today has just been win after win after win. So normally in the vending machine, in the office behind me over there, the vending machine guy likes to do the fruit punch plus berry Gatorade, which is still good, but it's, it's not like the original fruit punch. But I just found out today. He's made the switch, and I could not be happier. So you shout out to whoever the hell you are that refills oh, our vending machine. Don't fret. We have the lemon pepper hot juice here and mild wings. I think you know what to do. Dripping in sauce. Sauce. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that right there. That right there, boy. Look at that. Jeez. You ain't ever seen something so beautiful. So uh, I left work a little bit early today. Somebody brought this to my attention today just now. I was reading the comments of my YouTube video and there's probably a lot of you, maybe some of you, I don't know, but this is kind of what we're gonna touch on today that don't know what it's like to have 5% windshield tint. Now I have videos on my YouTube channel, but that was from probably like almost three or four months ago and a lot of you probably haven't seen those videos. So I wanna really give you guys a good representation of what it's like to have 5% windshield tint. Now during the day, this is what it looks like. It's, it's really not that bad during the day. Now if I roll the window down a little bit, I mean you can really tell the difference there. I mean that's this is, this is what it really looks like. So you've got the outside here and this is your 5% windshield tint. So I guess with the windows up, once the, once the light adjusts, it's it really doesn't look that bad from the inside, but then when you, cause you, you adjust to it. And when you put the window down, you really understand how freaking dark that is. And that's just, that's ridiculous. And the back, my back two windows and my back wind, my back glass and the two back ones, the side ones are five over 20. The front and side are just five. So 
during the day it really isn't that bad driving around especially once you get used to it your eyes adjust you have no issues but at night that's <laughs> at night gets pretty sketchy and I'm gonna give you guys an, an actual video I'm gonna wait and film a little bit later and show you guys what it looks like to drive around at night with 5% windshield tint well the weather went from really good to uh, really freaking bad but the good news is for the video today you guys will really be able to tell how dangerous the 5% windshield tint is so driving during the day like you like you saw earlier really isn't that bad and even driving at night still it can get bad sometimes as long as you you know have bright lights on your truck and can adjust it's still not that bad but when it's nighttime and it's raining oh <laughs> you guys can tell it is not pretty outside it even almost looks like look at that car splashing water <laughs> so that's this is how dark it is i mean it's it's actually really not as bad outside it's still it still looks really bad outside but like it looks like it's just about nighttime Look at the cop right there. You're not going to get me. I'm going to be honest though. I cannot stop thinking about those chicken wings from earlier. That were so good. All right. So now it's raining pretty good now. The only reason I can see right now is because there's still some light outside. Now, again, I want to give you guys, you know, a little bit of a comparison of how dark that really is. If it was really, truly dark outside, I, I would genuinely not be okay driving right now because I would not be able to see anything. You know, at nighttime, I still have some visibility because of the the light bars that I have have as fog lights and I have the lighting trends um, Lighting trends high beams and the last fit low beams But if it's dark outside that rain cuts my visibility down so much and having that tent on there Just literally it's so terrible and Driving during the rain actually with these really wide tires these 375s my truck grips into the water so when I hydroplane, it doesn't just skim over the water. It grips in and like yanks the steering wheel like that. And if you're not paying attention, I've, I've almost been put into the wall a couple times not paying attention. I've always thought this, this little patch of road right by 75 was cool because if you look across the bridge, you can see all of Atlanta. You can see the dome. You can see the big buildings. It's the Georgia Dome. Uh, I've always thought this was really cool, especially on clear days. You can just see right across. I don't think you guys understand how absolutely terrible this looks outside this it's so much darker than what it looks like on the camera I mean it looks like all hell is about to break loose out here and I'm just cruising on the highway like an idiot like I said, it's not even 100% dark outside, and it's, I mean, obviously this is probably a lot worse than what most of y'all's windshields look like. I can, but you guys can see, or you guys can tell, I can still see it just, it's raining like hell, which isn't bad until it gets nighttime and it's pitch black, and then I can't see, and it's pouring rain. So, you, you can see my dilemma, but when I go to leave Zach's house or the tent shop, you'll, you'll really be able to tell what I'm talking about. Well, it's not raining anymore, but it's still really dark outside because it's 9.50 at night. And this is the true honest, you know, this is the truth about 5% windshield tint. I, if there wasn't lights out here, could not see anything. And once we get on the interstate where there really is no lights, you'll, you'll really be able to see what I'm talking about. Looking in the side view mirrors, especially with all the rain on the side you you really can't see anything if you're not paying attention you are hitting curbs with this i mean look at this look, look look at this right now there's no lights in front of me what can you see right now i can't see anything and it's fantastic because that just means people can't see me either but you guys can see firsthand you really cannot see anything unless there's some kind of light around you I mean, let's be honest. This, obviously you can tell there is cars passing me over there. This is not safe. During the, especially when it's raining like this, this, this is not a good idea. So if you guys are really genuinely thinking about getting 5% windshield tent, I would not recommend it. The only way that you're really safely gonna drive around like this at night, especially again when it's raining, is if you are really paying attention to the road and you have some really bright lights. Um, that's with my fog lights on. 
that's with my fog lights off so I mean really it's not that much better I can see the grass over there that's about it but uh, again I really would not recommend this to anybody it does look really cool um, maybe just don't drive around at night though well, I hope that gives you guys a true representation of what it's like to have 5% windshield tint. I stopped by the gas station and got a uh, chocolate milk on the way home because I think it's well deserved after putting my life in danger. And if I was gonna go, I'd wanna go with a full stomach of chocolate milk. Nesquik, Nesquik, chocolate milk. But I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow. It's like 10.30 and I'm ready to go inside and go to bed. So uh, hope y'all have a great night. I will see you tomorrow. As always, let's get this bread. Get this bread. That's what I'm talking about.